What's up YouTube? In today's video, I'm gonna show you an easy way to stagger your Webflow interactions like this. You may have ran into a situation before where you created all your combo classes, duplicated your animations, and had the perfect interaction only to receive a message like this. Game over. Then you had to go back and delete pieces, pretty much rebuild the interaction. You may also have ran into a situation where you wanted to stagger the collection items whenever they scroll into view, but because most of them are on the same rows, they all fade in at the same time. So we're going to cover a little bit of custom code that can be used to help us with this. So I'm going to leave this in the project description, but you can copy this code and then we'll go over to our page settings. And in the closing body section, this is where we'll paste our code. And there's two pieces to this. The first is the element we want to animate, and in this case, I'll call it my homepage trigger, homepage dash trigger. And the second is how long do we want to wait in between elements? So this is 200 milliseconds. We can set that to whatever time we want the delay to be between um, pieces. So it's actually going to uh, create a click that triggers the interaction. So for that reason, I don't want to apply this to a link block because then it will click and take you to the new page. So I wrapped each one of these link block cards that I want to animate in the div called homepage-trigger that I'm referencing in my code. And then from here, I can apply a click trigger to the homepage-trigger. And then on first click, I'll create an interaction. This will be called homepage card in. And then I can animate the card inside it. So from here, I don't even have to add combo classes. I can basically set the initial states like maybe it moves it down um, by however much and then maybe I want it to move up and then also maybe we do the opacity drop the opacity and raise the opacity and then maybe even animate a piece inside of the card so maybe that could be a move of 2 em move 0 em, delay point 0.2, delay point 0.3, and apply an easing. So basically our whole interaction would do that. And that looks perfect. So we have it applied to one card. That's all we need to do. I'm going to set the second click to also do the same thing. And I'll apply this interaction to the class. And an important thing to note here is we don't want any space, like any padding inside our homepage trigger because we want the link block to completely cover the trigger so the user can't accidentally click on it underneath triggering an interaction. So I'm going to go ahead and publish this just like that. They're fading in one after the other and they all have that exact interaction we applied. So we can do that not only on page load, but there's a bunch of different triggers we can use for this. So we can do this on click of a button, and all we'd have to do is take our animation right here, copy it, and paste it inside this um, hover or click or even scroll into view. We can use any one of those. And whenever we're ready to create a new interaction, all we have to do is paste in this code again and change it to whatever we want our new interaction to be. Like say this was blog cards, and then set the uh, time out on that to whatever we'd like. So that's how you make these staggered interactions very simple in Webflow.